All right, lesson two, we're gonna do some drawings. So we're gonna start with our create new and we're gonna keep it with the full HD as our settings. So with our scene, um, often you can use the command or control minus or plus to zoom in or out. If that's not working or it's not going fast enough, you also do have this view option up in the main menu. And I do like uh, fit to screen uh, versus fill screen and then I can still toggle in and out using my command or control plus or minus. I like a little bit of negative space around so I can make sure I see my edges. So the first tool we're gonna to use is actually the fill tool and it sort of looks like a paint bucket that's pouring out. And I'm gonna come in here and change my color and I want like a sky blue. So something like that should work. And I'm gonna say okay. And I'm going to make a new layer. It's going to be empty. And I'm going to click once and it's going to fill it. So I am then going to go and name this layer fill. So what you'll notice is that I'm not labeling uh, like sky, not what it is, but I'm labeling it the tool that I used. And that's going to help me on the back end when I'm marking it so that I can open up your layers and take a look and see what tools you've used. All right, a next thing, we're gonna add another new layer. It's gonna be empty again. And this time I'm gonna to go to my paintbrush tool, which is actually called Draw. Just be cautious because there are like three tools that look very similar. There is this pen tool and this color replace tool, but we want just the straight up draw tool. And with the draw tool, it's going to bring you up some brushes. And if you click on this sort of uh, triangle, it will expand the palette. And there's a couple different things I want to show you. So first is size. Obviously, uh, the smaller the pixel, the smaller the brush. And obviously, the bigger the pixel, the bigger the brush. Uh, the other thing I want to show you is softness versus hardness. So a 0% soft brush is actually, in my opinion, a hard brush. And you can see here that you've got your edges, and they're crisp, and they're sharp. If I pull it this way, you'll see that I get a soft brush and I've got a diffused edge, sort of like a spray paint effect. So to begin for my beautiful drawing, I'm going to start with a, a big brush and a hard brush and click back on my palette. And if I want it bigger or smaller and I don't want to keep going back into that palette, there is actually a shortcut for brush size. So smaller brush is comma and bigger brush is period. So I'm going to just come in here and click. Oh, I need to make sure I get the right color. So I'm making a sunshine, so I definitely want to change my color. Yellow should do. I'm on my new layer. I'm going to click. And then I want to make some rays, like a sunshine. And you can wonder how I teach art class. I do. It's better than this. All right. There is my sun, and so I am going to label this layer a uh, hard brush, just so that I keep track. All right, and then the next thing I want to do is sort of explore maybe a soft brush. So in this case, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to really make my brushes soft and bigger, and I'm going to change it to white to get my clouds or maybe like a gray color. I don't know, what do you think, white? And the other thing that I wanna do on this one, oh, make sure I make a new layer. And you'll see why in a second here. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also lower my opacity just to play around with that. So you'll see one that I've got this low opacity happening and that I have um, nice soft edges for some very fluffy clouds. If you enjoy watching Bob Ross, you know how happy a little white fluffy cloud can make you. All right, so there we go. And this, if we rename it, would be a soft brush, right? So. Um, one of the things that I wanted to show you with this uh, technique, so just th this brush demo, is that we can also, the reason we did them on separate layers is because then I can also change the arrangement or which I see on top. So right now I've got my soft brushes or my clouds on top, but if I drag these down, you can actually place it behind. Um, 
And that sort of allows you more freedom to uh, change which items are visible or on top and then which images or objects are below or less visible. And then lastly, if I wanted to come in here and do some erasing, I could. And on my sun layer, I can come in here and get my eraser tool. And again, the eraser tool also follows all the same brush um, things. So you can have hard, hard edges or soft edges, and you can also have different sizes. So I'm gonna come in here and make my brush smaller or my eraser smaller. Oops, that's with the comma tool. And I am going to make my sunshine happy. All right, so this lesson we've done fill, we've done hard and soft paint brushes, making them big and smaller, and we've also used the eraser tool, and we also used opacity.